Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Ding Liren and Richard Laporte. This is a game from World Cup, played in Tbilisi, Georgia in 2017. Ding Liren had white pieces and he started with d4. Richard Laporte played knight to f6. c4, e6, knight to f3, b6, queen's Indian defense, g3. Bishop to b7. Bishop to a6 is also played often. Bishop to b7. Bishop to g2. Bishop to e7. And both players castle kingside. Knight to c3. Knight to e4. Bishop to d2. Queen to c2 is the most played move. Bishop to d2 was played. Black to move. Bishop to f6 f5 is the most played move. We have bishop to f6, rook to e1, a6, d5 is to be expected. a6 was played. Knight to e5, knight takes on c3, bishop takes on c3, bishop takes on g2, king takes on g2, d6, knight to g4, attacking the bishop, Bishop to e7, and now e4. White is enjoying more space and better development. b5 was played. Perhaps developing the knight should be considered. b5 was played. Queen to e2. Pawn takes pawn on c4. White to move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Queen takes on c4 was expected, but there was a surprise. Ding Liren played d5, black to move, queen to c8. Well, if e5, then that would make the bishop on e7 a bad piece. White may take the pawn on c4 with the queen or play bishop to a5, and after say queen to c8, knight to e3. White is better. Back to our game. And what about e takes on d5? If e takes on d5, e takes on d5, and after rook to e8, white has a killer move. And the move is knight to f6 check. After pawn takes knight, queen to g4 check, king to h8. Rook takes on e7, queen takes on e7, rook to e1, and white is winning. Back to our game. Richard Laporte didn't like any of these moves, and he played queen to c8. And now, not queen takes on c4. Another surprise move. e5. e takes on d5. If d takes on e5, Queen takes on e5, threatening checkmate. And if f6, queen takes on e6, check, queen takes queen, rook takes on e6, and white is better. So Richard Laporte played e takes on d5. e takes on d6, c takes on d6, queen takes bishop on e7. Black to move. Of course, black considered the obvious. But then he played obvious. He played d4. If queen takes on g4, f3, and after queen to f5, g4. If queen to d7, then white queen goes to g5, threatening checkmate and attacking the pawn on d5. Queen to d3, queen to b7, threatening queen takes rook. If knight to c6, then simply queen takes knight. And what if instead of knight to c6, d4 is played? Then rook from a to d1. And after queen to c2, check, rook to d2, queen to a4. Queen takes rook, and after d takes on c3, b takes on c3. And again, white is much better. Back to our game. So, Richard Laporte played d4. White to move, what would you do in this position? if you had white pieces. 
D. Leon played queen to e4, attacking the rook, defending the knight. If bishop takes on d4, then queen takes on g4, attacking the bishop, so queen to b7 doesn't work, because of knight to c6. Perhaps then queen takes on d6 should be played, but this is not what the Leon wanted. Back to our game. After d4, we have a queen to e4. Queen to c6, offering to exchange queens and saving the rook. Bishop takes on d4. f5. Queen takes on c6. Knight takes on c6. Two of the white pieces are hanging. Knight to e3. Knight takes on d4. And now black is a pawn up. Rook from a to d1. f4. Rook takes on d4. f takes on e3. Rook takes on e3, rook from a to b8, rook to e2, c3, b takes on c3, rook to b6, rook to b4. Ding Liren played the endgame extremely well. Rook takes on b4, c takes on b4, rook to b8, rook to b2, king to f7, and now both players want to centralize their kings. King to f3, king to e6, king to e4. D5 check. Why to move? What is the best square for the white king? I guess most people will play king to d4. Do you agree? Ding Liren played king to d3. If king to d4, then rook c8 occupying the open file. Rook to c4 check would be next. This may not save the game for black, but it gives him a better chance. Back to our game. After d5, we have very precise king to d3, king to d6, a4, rook to b7, f4, h5. And now, white came up with a very nice plan. Well, Ding Liren probably came up with his plan even earlier. What would be your plan in this position if you had white pieces? This is the first move. b5. a takes on b5. a takes on b5. And the pass pawn is created. And it will be used as a decoy. King to c5. Rook to c2 check. King takes on b2. King to d4. Material is equal. But black king is cut off from the king's side and can't help his pawns. Rook to f7. White played a move and black resigned. The move is King takes on d5, black resigned. Let's play a few more moves. Let's say h4, tempting white to take on h4. King to e5, h takes on g3, h takes on g3. Something g4, attacking the rook, rook to c8. King to b4, g5. King to b5, black is helpless. f5. And after king to b6, king to e6, rook to a7, f6, pawn takes pawn, pawn takes pawn, and white is winning. And what else? In this position, if g6 is played, preventing f5, then rook to c6, attacking the pawn, rook to g7, king to f6, rook to g8, king to f7, rook to d8, king takes on g6, and white is winning. That is why Richard Laporte resigned at move 41. Some commentators are saying that the Black Knight stayed in the barn for too long. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.